Hey, so today my service call was on this Parkade Makeup Air. Um, it's kind of an interesting setup. They're actually using the Parkade Makeup Air to heat the Parkade so it doesn't freeze, which as you all know, direct fire makeup airs are not designed to heat a space, just replace the air that's being exhausted. But it's an old building, it is what it is. So when this guy uh, got here, um, they said there was no heat. Fire eye was tripped up there. Um, we set it, tried to cycle it a few times. It was struggling to make pilot. So my next step then was I made sure my pilot valve was working, my ignition coil was working. Um, once those were both working, I confirmed that. I then continued to look at the igniter pilot assembly, and that is the problem. So up here, you can see I had to cut this service hole as uh, I couldn't fit around the blower. And these panels on the back, as most of you know, with these old HV units, they're flanged, so you can't really take them off. And uh, I needed to clean the burners, I saw, so I decided to cut an access hole here. And you can see, just get up here. You can see how dirty this burner is, just full of dirt. I've never put filters in this unit. So uh, I'm gonna clean that burner out. Uh, we're gonna brush it out clean out the orifices and then the flame sensor and igniter are quite worn and that's why uh, we're struggling to make pilot so most guys they just replace right here the flame sensor and igniter but on these older units I find that if you don't have a good ground they really struggle to uh, to light so I usually replace the whole assembly it's a little bit more but it's actually quicker to do so it only really costs the customer much more so Here's what the new assembly looks like. So, it comes with a new flame sensor, which is here, new igniter, new grounding rod, new pilot, new pilot holes. It's just the best way to go. And uh, it's just four screws, the flat head here. And you can see it has the new fittings. Um, yeah, so I'm going to clean out that burner we just talked about, brush it out, clean up the holes, take the old assembly off, put the new assembly in, and then we're going to test it and see how it goes. Um, a couple other things this unit has, which uh, is quite old, is it has these snap, up the snap um, gas valves. So it actually controls discharge air temperature based on this dial here. And since they're using this unit to heat, um, we find six at number six, it, Supplies about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And right here we have, uh, looks like another our company, maybe, I'm not sure if we added that, uh, an A421. And this controls discharge air temperature. So if the discharge air temperature goes below the set point, which is 38, it will shut the whole unit off. So kind of like a freeze protection, but a bit more accurate than uh, an A19. So yeah, pretty easy service call, I thought. Um, a bit annoying having to cut the access panel, but that's our only real option. All right, cool. Hopefully this helps you guys on uh, things to look for when uh, you have flame failure on a fire eye. Burners are a big thing to check. A lot of people forget to brush them out and clean the orifices. And uh, yeah, I'll be cutting a tin patch after to put over my hole. All right, have a great day.